So we're in the championship match now. This is uh, Brian Roof shooting hair. He's on the winner's side. These are both double-A players, so this will be a race to five, even up. like to go ahead and welcome all of our guests that aren't signed in. I see uh, Tanner is back with us. Nice to have you again, Tanner, just in time for the finals. Holla! Tony Mork, nice to see you joining up with us today. Got the finals coming for you. Oli, South Dakota Bookie, Laughing My Ass Off Fun 69, and Eric Mock Muller. Uh, thanks for coming out. Nice to have you here. Hope you enjoy the show. Should be uh, should be a good match here. Uh, you're gonna have uh, Jay Dvorak's gonna have to go uh, double dip Brian if he wants a championship. Brian's got to win five games to claim the best of Sioux Falls. Scotty Beck, how you doing? Not too bad. Yeah, Scotty Beck, joining up me over here in the uh, booth here. You just got done playing. You did very well, Scott. Yeah. Grab a mic, turn it on. Let the viewers know how you're feeling, uh, you know. Uh, I pretty much handed it to him. Yeah. Uh, had it, had my chances, and I just wasn't getting the roles I needed, and he beat me. Yeah. Simple. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't like last night when I played him. I mean, he was running racks on me last night, and then today, I mean, he ran one rack on me. He gave me every opportunity in the book to beat him. I just couldn't pull through with it. Well, you know what Eric was saying? He say, Eric's saying that he plays better when he has a couple of drinks in him, and he, he had a couple of drinks in him last night, and he definitely was shooting very well last night. Uh, I, I, had a, I had a few last night or whatnot, and I was playing I was playing phenomenal last night, and probably the best I can remember shooting Dude, for a couple were, of years. You were on. You were, you were shooting excellent. I was uh, very impressed with the way you were shooting. I mean... I mean, even like, you know, I had to get up and I had to play Chad Pugh my third match last night. And, I mean, I got up and if he missed, I ran it. I, was, I mean, it's just kind of how it was with him. I mean, I was running tables against him. Which, Chad is not. Uh, Chad is one of the better players in town, too. Yeah. So that was a hell of a good match that hey, you put up there. Exactly. And, I mean, and I won't lie. I mean, I was nervous. I mean, my hands were shaking <laughs> and everything. <laughs> but... Uh, I don't know for like this match here. I mean, I'm 
but positive. I'm gonna see Brian Ruth come out on top on this one. Well, we've got a we've got a couple people out there that you know. There's one here that's saying Jay's gonna double dip here, Brian. And uh, well, I could see Jay winning one, but I can't see him double dipping Brian. Brian's a very solid shooter. Brian is solid. He is. He's been shooting all weekend, rock solid. Not. He. I mean, he's making some mistakes just like everybody, but uh, he's making some very nice outs as well. Yeah. If Jay plays against Brian like he played against me, he won't he won't win this. <laughs> I mean, right. he's, yeah, he's, he's got to run tables against Brian. Yep. <clears throat> Brian's to that point here in the tournament. Uh, well, he I, he told me in the other match uh, when it was on the stream earlier, he was upset that he gave up a couple of games uh, yeah. and earlier, and he turned around and won three in a row after that. So yeah. He definitely got it in his head that he wanted to finish that one off and not give any more chances out. Uh, and the one thing I wanted, I wanted to have my, my rematch against Jay the way he beat me last night. I wasn't going to let that happen again. And just, you know, like I said, I mean, just couldn't get the rolls going for me. Yeah. He gave me ball in hand with three balls left on the table, and I couldn't do it. Well, you know, you had a lot going on in your play. You're, you're directing the tournament. You know, you're playing in the tournament. Yep. You now people are coming up to you asking you questions, not knowing whether you're playing or if you're standing around the table because your tournament table or your director's table is right by the stream table, you know. Yes. And I know a couple of times you were getting interrupted in the middle of a match. You know, you, you got uh, a lot on your mind. You got a lot on your I plate. I had to go over, and I know a few times during my matches, I mean, with me being a certified ref now, too, I had to go and ref a few shots and everything in the middle of my own matches. I mean, but that's kind of what you got to expect in something like this you know that comes with the territory exactly. now that you're you're certified they're going to utilize your services that's for sure yeah exactly no, no rest for the weary no <laughs> I mean, the one thing that kind of makes me laugh is when i have somebody come over and they have to turn around and ref my own when um <laughs> yeah. i had, had a match against john earlier shiflet and there was a shot i had to take and I actually had Todd Ferro who was down here hanging out watching. I had him come over and watch the shot and um, kind of got up for debate and it was a little argument. Todd said it was a clean shot. I knew it was a clean shot. And um, some guy that was watching said, I don't know how that was clean. I said, I asked him, I said, how good a pool player are you? And he goes, well, on my day. And I'm like, well, how, are you, how good are you now? I said, rules probably changed from back when you played. <laughs> yeah. You know, just well, giving rules, him a little crap. Yeah, rules change all the time, yeah. too. you got to make sure you're on top of that. I remember back in the day that a simultaneous hit was considered a foul. Yeah. You absolutely had to hit your own ball first. Yeah. And I know that well, rule has changed now too, hasn't it? A simultaneous uh, hit is actually a good hit. I believe so. Yeah. But um well it's funny, I mean the shot that I had, I had the cue ball kinda sitting against the rail there and the nine ball was right in front of it. And I had probably about a little less than a chalk gap between the cue ball and the nine ball. And not, I didn't even hit it straight on because hitting it straight on wouldn't go anyways. You had to hit it from, at an angle uh, for the most part. And, of course, I had to hike up because it was sitting on the rail. And, I mean, it flew up, popped in, and, you know, they gave me the nice out or whatnot. And, and I mean, he just wasn't too happy about it, which understandable. I mean, right. you're going to question certain When that was like almost that. the same type of shot that happened yesterday with Han Tippy, wasn't it? One of those, like, 45-degree yeah. type shot. Yeah, with deals. Tippy and Ha when Ha shot that shot, yeah. except uh, Ha's shot was frozen. They were frozen. They were yeah. frozen on. A little bit more room for debate on that one, I suppose, too, being that they were frozen. Yeah. I see. Uh, I see Tanner's on, huh? You know, we got uh, Tanner. Mork is in uh, in the viewership. Oli's back on today. Uh, Oli's not getting any homework done because he's watch a pool, but I guess that's what comes with the territory when you're trying to go to law school and be a pool player at the same time. Exactly. Yeah, it was nice having him down yesterday. He's a very good shot, too. You know, He's very to good technical, too. I, you yeah. know, if it wasn't for him after our karaoke guy left, mm -hmm. we didn't figure, we couldn't figure out how he had that karaoke deal set up on that laptop to get the stream up on the, on the TV. Oh, on the TV. Okay. He actually had to pull the window across the screen off of the screen, and as soon as you pulled off of the screen, it would show up on the TV screens. Oh, yeah. So I never knew that. And then huh. you had to watch the TV screens as you're moving the yeah, mouse. See them moving yeah. around up <laughs> you there. Had to yeah. Watch that to move the mouse to hit the enlarge button, and it's kind of a tricky shot, or kind of tricky there. But uh, 
I do got to kind of laugh because I see, uh, yeah, Tony Mark and Eric Mack Miller are on, and it's nice to see they couldn't come down and play. I understand that they're a little nervous about playing against me. Yeah, well, I, I can understand that. As <laughs> hot as you were shooting, you know, I look at you know. I got to give them a little bit of crap. <laughs> well, I used the camera and the you know the stream as my excuse. You know, I had to work the stream, so you know, I, I just couldn't play. I understand key, 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 key. <laughs> I tell you, the biggest surprise that I've seen yesterday, I watched Keith Hansen go 2-0. Oh, yeah, I know. Um, I mean, that first kid he played against who was an A, that Kurt, Kurt's not a bad shot. No, no, uh, not at The all. second kid he played against, this Aaron, Aaron Heyer. Heyer. Uh, he's, I mean, he's a B player. I mean, and he's not that good at all. I mean, he's, not not knocking his game or anything like that. But he's a B player. Putting him up against Keith. I mean, Keith should have throttled him. And right. I was over there watching him, and it just, yeah, I think he was more just here for support and just messing around because he had somewhere to be last night and all that. I knew that. Yeah, so Keith. Cool. I, I like the fact that Keith came out. Whether he was here for an hour or two or here for 10, 12 hours, he was here. He yep. brought Lynn out here, too, which was nice to see. And, uh, yeah. you know, I, and do I know that next week I'm actually going to be playing in that next weekend. Oh, yeah? so, yep. Great. And that's the what we're talking about here is the Billy Joe Massner Benefit Poker Run and Pool Tourney, uh, Saturday, August 31st. Uh, there's going to be a poker run, registration at 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. We're going to be going from Critters and Crooks to the Shipwreck in Chester to the Trent Bar in Trent to Fat Boys in Flandreau, then back to Biggs by 6 p.m. to draw their hands, and all wheels are welcome. There will be a pool tourney, draw scotch doubles. That's going to start at 1.30 p.m. Uh, this is going to have a silent auction as well. That's going to end at 7 p.m. This is all happening down at Big Sports Bar and Billiards. This is August 31st. Uh, this is a benefit for uh, the poker run and pool term is being held for Billy Joe Messner to help her get a $15,000 wheelchair due to a partial hip removal earlier this year. Now, unfortunately, her Medicaid will not help her get this equipment, so she desperately needs our help. And uh, with your consideration and generosity, we can we can make it happen and help her get out of bed and become mobile again. So any support and... Uh, is, is, is definitely great. Uh, I know they have some great uh, prizes there, including a golf package, some Tanner Pruis art oh, up, nice. is going to be up in that silent auction as well. I like his art. I've been, I see quite a bit of it on Facebook and stuff. Oh, yeah. Nice. It's got some, it looks like he, he's going to donate an eight ball paying for that benefit, and I do appreciate that, Tanner. That's, oh, uh, that's, cool. that's huge. So, uh, Might have to try to get in and get in on that one. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You never know, uh, never know how much that might go. To. And you know, these these pieces of uh, art are one of the kinds. You know, I think I think I just need to tell Tanner, Tanner, I need a self portrait because I'm so damn conceited and shit. You know, oh, yeah, well, you see <laughs> what he kidding. can do, right? <laughs> well, uh, you know, some of those paintings could uh, kind of resemble you. You know, just hey, throw some paint yeah. down. And, and <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> You know, some of them paintings, you see the different views in there, like dragons and all kinds of weird shit, stuff you can pull out of those paintings that he's got. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Call me a dragon? Uh, well, I was <laughs> going to say the scream face, too. I've seen a couple of scream faces in those paintings, too, so... <laughs> Well, then next month, because uh, we're going to, you know, we'll be running tournaments every month and um, the best that we can um, come a certain point, I'll be so busy with, with what I've got going on, it'll actually be Lanny and Kelly that'll mainly be running. And I mean, if people have questions and stuff, they're more than welcome to call me during the time. But um, I know next month we got that ultimate 10 ball hustle, which I've never even heard of anybody having a 10 ball tournament here in Sioux Falls. So. Right. That'll be a good one, and I know we're in the talks about, you know, talking about you, you coming back again, and I know um, I got a meeting coming up, and we're definitely going to sit down and talk to him about that, because I loved how this went this weekend, and oh, people this was loved great. it. Yeah. I can't believe we got, I mean, this, the showing and the support this weekend was absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, we want to thank uh, Kelly and the Nickel Spot. And I want to say more about that Ultimate 10 Ball Hustle. Now, that's going to be September 21st at the Nickel Spot. And it's going to be about the same type of deal. They're going to limit it to 64 players. So you want to make sure that you get in. Early registration is always going to be helpful so we can start these tournaments and get them done in a reasonable amount of time. Uh, the late sign up 10 a.m. Tournament starts at noon on September 21st. This is on a Saturday. 
It's a $20 entry fee, $10, 20 plus 10, so it's $30, 10 is going to the greens fees. It's going to be the same type of deal. If we fill the field of 64, it's going to be $600 added for the full field, which will come up to be a $2,000 in guaranteed money. So, And I don't necessarily want to say full field. I mean, we had, what, 53 players play this weekend, and we and still we threw in the 600? Because I heard it was 570, but still close well, enough. So, I mean, that's pretty darn close. That's less than what it was prorated be. At 54 yeah. players prorated at 10 bucks greens fees. Yeah. It should have been 500 added, and they threw yeah, 570. Yeah, so we threw an extra so. 70 more dollars. That's after huge. That, yep. That's huge. That's more money for the players. So definitely, uh, you know, they're really putting on an event here. They're wanting to put money out there for you pool players. But we need you guys to come out here and show up. You know, if with a, if you're not showing up for these tournaments, you know, we can't really put them on and promote them if they're not going to be showing up to play. So come on out and, and get some play in and get some money in your pocket. Now with this, with this here. On a full field, two thousand dollars guaranteed. Does that mean that you're going to have more bounties in this tournament? Yes, we then? are. Okay, yep. good. People like that, and yeah, I that's... enjoyed it. And of course, every time I got close to enough to a bounty, somebody beat them out before they got to me. <laughs> the, so, beat them out the round before they got to you. Which... I got to put one bounty in the losers bracket. In other words, I never got to see them again. <laughs> well, you, you didn't even come over and. I, I have a congratulatory handshake for anybody that takes a bounty and puts them into the losers bracket. So, oh, oh I mean, yeah. Well, there we go. Then I get one of those. <laughs> At least I got something for it. <laughs> You got something out of that. Yeah. Okay, well, let's back to the action here. Uh, score is 2 to 0. Let me go ahead and update that. So, yeah, get a hold of Lanny Hayes. Uh, you can call Kelly down here at the nickel spot or. You can call uh, Scotty Beck over at Great Amusement for more information on that Ultimate 10 Ball Hustle. That should be a good time. I know 10 Ball is an up and coming game. It's, uh, I guess I'd, I'm not sure how you guys are going to, the rules of your 10 Ball, but I know 10 Ball was designed as, it's designed as a pro game. Yep. Yep. So it takes away the, I know the rules, uh, the standard rules, you know, you don't have that two two-way shot with nine ball you know you call a sh you gotta call your shot or you gotta call safe and if you miss the called shot your opponent can opt to give it back to you are you playing by those rules um what i'm thinking we're gonna do is and it's mainly because i mean you get these lower players that don't play a whole lot they get confused um, we're mainly i'm gonna treat it just like nine ball for the most part just to keep it nice simple and fun you gonna I mean, play the slop then or just or are you gonna have to call the shots well, see, that's something I was thinking about because me personally, I'm one of those ones. I I hate slop. I mean, right, I'd, right. I'd like to call call each one of my shots all day long. And that might uh, not be a bad idea. Just play the ten ball as nine ball, but just call shot. You know, you don't you can't slop any balls in, mm -hmm. which I know but, that's the way a lot of people play it around here too. And Lanny and I will have to get together and you know talk and see how he wants to do that or whatnot. Because like I said, I mean, my I'm on there and stuff for just to help help out and uh, these are man these tournaments are mainly ran by by Lanny and Kelly these are nickel spot tournaments they have nothing to do with great amusement right um, but like I said I mean whatever they want to do I'm more open to it right I mean I'm just here to help out and do what I have to do and win some money well you know it'd be good too because that uh like you said, 10 ball hasn't been uh, played a whole lot around here in tournaments. I don't think they've ever had a tournament here in Sioux Falls for 10 ball. I don't but remember I could one either. So get the get the get the buzz going a little bit. I mean, I, I know a lot of people watch 10 ball on the streams. They watch the pros play, and so some people are familiar with the rules and uh, yeah. you know they understand it. But like you said, some people are probably not familiar with it. That might be a little too confusing. It might shy them away. We definitely don't want you to shy away, so if you're not sure of the rules, it don't matter. Come on down. You, there's always going to be somebody around here, tournament director, if I'm here streaming, or Kelly, or anybody else, you know, we'll help you out. You know, you just got to ask. And I see Tanner said something about how he should have showed up here or something like that. And if he's talking about here, well, yeah, you should have showed he up. He should have. <laughs> I thought he was coming down. I thought he was going to special deliver my uh, artwork, but yeah. you know, I, I got to give him props. So that's a it's a long haul from it, Rapid it City, is. and uh, but it would have been nice to see him down here. I think he could have uh, been right up here with these guys for sure. <laughs> if you 
you guys haven't had a chance to see that beautiful piece of artwork that Tanner uh, did custom for me in Midwest Amateur Pool, uh, go on to uh, Facebook, take a search for uh, MAP, Midwest Amateur Pool. Very nice. uh, you can go ahead and like the page if you like, but uh, you can see that piece of art. Uh, I have it uh, right there as my icon. And uh, just absolutely beautiful black and red swirls with the little white streaks every once in a while. And it looks like little hairs, actually, the white streaks. And the bold white Midwest Amateur Pool in the foreground, just absolutely beautiful. And that's going to bring it two to one. Oh, that was a good. gift from above. Oh, what did he do? No, that's... What? He, he scratched. Oh, did he? Yeah, it made oh, wow. the eight ball, and it was coming down, and he just reached out and grabbed Gosh, it. I didn't even see that. Oh, now let me, I can see it now. Oh. I, th I, I think see. he scratched. I'll have to double check. We'll watch the replay up here and uh, make sure it didn't come off two rails and back up, but... Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> It's a good thing we got the delay timing to where I can see the replay. <laughs> Dude, yeah, it's, there's no delay here. We just have instant replay. That's what we're calling it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah we, that we got good. instant replay out here, guys. So nice. we're we're moving right up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hopefully, eventually, someday we'll have that second camera, and we can lay down that second camera right directly, hang it over the pool. Ah, table there we go. So we can get a second view directly over the top of the pool table. Yeah. Or where you can turn around, you can run it, run it through two tables two or whatnot, yeah. like you know, like our team tournaments and yeah. stuff that we have through Great Amusement and all that. You know, you got your teams playing on two tables. Yeah. You want you ever want to get something like that going? Gonna have to have another camera so that way you can get both tables there. Get both tables. You can go back and forth, put them picture in picture. Now I know you didn't realize this, but when you're over there playing with uh, John Shiflet, yeah, I actually uh, turned the computer. Yeah, uh, I didn't even I realize the, that till towards the end there. I got the I got the built-in uh, camera too, and I tried that for a little bit, and that was too far away. You know, with the yeah. built-in camera, I can't zoom. So as soon as the stream table got done, you guys were still playing. I flipped that camera around and uh -huh. got your table. I uh, think the last two three games, obviously the important games, right? Because yeah. uh, I broke you won the last on, two uh, three games there to win win yeah. the match. I think so. Yeah. Okay. I turn around and put myself up 3-2 and then I came on and I broke and ran on him. We'll go up 4-2 uh, and then I finished it off. Yeah. You know, which I didn't think I was going to. I thought I was going to have to go one more and no, he ended up missing. Johnny had a lot of work this weekend. Yeah, he he had six matches that went hill hill. That's well, huge. their one match last night, gosh, that would take like three hours for them oh. to play that? I'm not sure how long it was. Three hours might be a little a I'm bit extreme. Yeah, I'm but being I'd, sarcastic. I'd say an hour and a half to two. I know Todd's match was about an hour and a half last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah Kurt, theirs was quite Kurt a bit. And John back in that back corner, yeah, they, they took a long time. Yeah. But they were on the loser side, and... You know, there's going to be a little bit more time involved with those shots because nobody wants to go home that close to the money. Yeah, no, yeah, never. No. <laughs> so, okay, let me ask you here, uh, Scotty. We got this uh, SD bookie here, and... Uh, Somebody earlier was trying to guess who it might have been, and they said MB, you know, MB, and it's not MB, so, but it was MB's uh, previous partner or worked for him. I'm trying to think of uh, this uh, SD bookie is uh, who that was, who that possibly could be. Jay just tied it up 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two to two. You got any ideas? Who used to be partners with Mike? You know? Bloomer? Uh, that's, Jay would be able to answer that. I'm trying to think of that guy's name that was always up in the office all the time that pretty much ran the outfit. Uh, brown, brown haired guy, uh, shorter, stocky. Yeah, I can't. I worked for Mike here for a while back in the day, uh, upstairs answering phones, and 
Kind of interesting, kind of a fun little gig that he's got going there. Yeah. Mayfield still on, or do you have to go save lives? I don't see him. Oh, he must be saving lives. Yeah, I was surprised to see him struggle yesterday. Usually he's been shooting pretty solid lately and he struggled a little bit. I don't remember. Do you remember who beat him out last night? Who was that? Colt Mayfield. Uh, let's see. Tippy played him on the stream. Tippy put him in the That was a good side. match too. They went all the way hill hill on yeah, that one. Yeah. I think Colt said he missed a he had a messed up eight ball or something like that that he went at and I can't remember. I thought that's what he told me. I almost want to say that it might have been uh I don't know. I'd have to look at the bracket. Maybe Shiffy. Guess that'd be my first guess kind of since Shiffy was in the loser side and went all the way across, but um I, don't know. I guess yeah, I it could have been because uh John no, because uh, Colt was on the upper half, so he yeah. went down to the bottom half, and Shiffy was on the upper half, and he lost his first match, so he would have stayed on the upper half. Oh, never mind. I know who beat him out. Uh, Hank beat him out. Hank Nelson. Hank Nelson, another double-A player. That'd be 2-2. Two -two. That's the guy's name, Tommy. Time he was the guy's name that uh, was up there working with Mike back back in the day when I was up there. <laughs> well, Jeremy W., it's nice to have you along here for the ride. Hope you're enjoying the show. Uh, you a pool player as well, Jeremy? I wonder where... Uh, I wonder if Mike knew about this tournament. Bloomberg? Yeah. Yeah, he swung in yesterday. He was out of town. He was out riding and stuff. He oh, swung in. He? And I don't think he ever came in, but uh, yeah, he pulled up, and I was outside. and ch I chit-chatted with him for oh, a few Oh, so he minutes. showed up yesterday? Yes. Okay, yep. okay. I didn't stay outside too long because, man, it's hot out. <laughs> oh, it's hot and humid. Yeah, and it's going to be like that all week, too. It's a good thing I work in an office. Oh, oh look <laughs> at this uh Jay's really uh, stepping it up here. That scratch That's just cost very, him very two, nice three games. Yeah. Very nice shot. So that brings it three to two. Uh, Jay, I seen. Uh, did you talk to Barney at all? What's that? Did you talk to Barney at all? I see he's here today. He came in yesterday oh. pretty early. Barney, yeah, he, um, one or two o'clock. Uh, yeah, he actually sat over with me during that match against John there, and um, he actually was giving me some pointers and you know telling me what I was doing wrong because I was kind of rushing a little bit uh, my earlier matches against him and he'd seen what I was doing against Hammer when I played against Hammer earlier I mean, and I mean I honestly I should have never won that match against Hammer and then he <laughs> handed that one to me uh, yeah I, uh, we I were played both horrible <laughs> when he missed that straight well it wasn't dead straight I mean but it, it was had a little just cut a, but yeah it was I a mean, little cut uh, but it was a good cut it was the type of cut that you you know that you would want you yeah, know? yeah but, but it just his stroke got him on that shot. Uh, you could tell his, something happened in his stroke, and and that was it. Mm. But um, yeah, no, he was over there. He was telling me he goes because I, my very first game, I got up, uh, I had ran all the way down, had just an easy, easy eight ball shot in the side there, and I mean I was not very far away from it at all, and. I got down and I knew right as I stroked through that I missed it and he kind of started laughing. He goes, that's your brain. And I said, well, what do you mean my brain? I said, what are you talking about? Yeah. He goes, he goes, the shot you had before that, he goes, it was such a difficult shot. And he goes, and you made it and didn't think about anything else but that shot. So your adrenaline's going. And he goes, and when your adrenaline's going, you got no oxygen. When you have no oxygen, your brain's not working. 
Yeah. I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense. He goes, so he was telling me, he goes, just when you get up, he goes, after, do it after every shot. And he goes, yeah, turn around, chalk with the opposite hand, walk around the table, something like that. He goes, because then it gets your mind running again. It gets right. your brain working. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, I'll remember that. I see, uh, here's another pool shooter that should have been out here playing this weekend, standing over next to us. We've got Todd Murray in the house, an excellent shooter. How's it going, Todd? Yeah, I'm good. Pretty good. And yourself? Good. Good to see you, man. How come you didn't come down and shoot in this? You didn't know about it? Oh, man. We're going to have to get your number down so I can call you next time for sure. Yeah, we had a great turnout. 54 players. I heard that. That's great. Well, that should have been 55. Yeah, it should have been, well, been 64, but, you know. <laughs> It's like pulling teeth to get people over here to sit in the booth with me, you know. He's trying to offer Todd the microphone, and Todd's having no part of it right now. He's just here to have fun and watch the game. He's Mike Shy. He's Mike Shy, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, what, so with Barney, being he was here fairly early yesterday, did he have something else going on before he could show up? or no, just, he just... He didn't want to play. Just didn't want to play in it, huh? Yeah, he's going to play. I know he talked to me. He's going to play in the Ultimate Ten Ball Hustle, though. So. Oh, good, good. Yeah. Actually, I'll we, show we it better, to Yeah, we better make sure Tom about, that about it. Yeah, I'll have to uh, take a few of these uh, flyers off your hands here. and. Yeah, uh, I got a bunch of them sitting around here somewhere, wherever. Whatever he did with them, I guess I don't know. I'll have to pass it around and uh, let's see September 21st. So what do we got here? Uh, just under a month to promote this thing. So if you guys out there want to help promote this uh, 10 ball hustle, September 21st at the Nickel Spot, $30 buy-in. It's going to be handicapped, double A, A, B, C, double A or Masters, A, B, C. So uh, whoever the uh, SD bookie is said to tell Mara hi. Jeremy W. We'll have to get a hold of Mike too and uh, let him know about that 10 ball hustle. Okay. And just so everybody knows, because people tend to get confused, these tournaments are open to anybody who wants to play. You don't have to play leagues. You don't have to have weeks in or anything like that. Just for people to come out on a weekend and have a good time and hang out and play pool so, and try to win some money. And here for the viewers out there, you know, I know there's been a lot of confusion in the past, and I know even promoting this tournament, some of the people I talked to had asked the same question more than a couple of times. And... You know, they, they know that uh, the Nickel Spot is a, is a great amusement vendor, um, and they were kind of confused about that, and I told yeah. them, no, it doesn't matter. You, you shoot for music service, you shoot for Haswell, you shoot for BCA, you shoot for, you know, uh, an in-house league at, the, you know, the Pocket or one of these other bars around town. It don't matter. You're offering this to anybody, yep. anybody at all. Anybody. You could have just picked up a pool queue yesterday and come play. Oh, That's huge. You know. No, yeah, we've actually had some people, like during that Scotch Doubles tournament, um, we had some people that had just started playing leagues, thought it'd be fun to come and try out, so they came out. And well, then and especially a, a draw. Gal. Well, and I had a gal that I was talking to last night, um, Patty, I think her name was. She, um, yeah, Patty was her name, or Patricia, something like that. Um, I can't remember because I met. I was talking to so many people yesterday, but I remember the conversation with her, and she had told me that this was her very first singles tournament she's ever played in. She'd never played on a singles tournament. Of course, she was a little frustrated because she got beat really bad, but she was like, yeah, it's fun, though. She goes, I had a good time. They even stayed here, stayed here and hung out all night until, I think, about 1230. That's huge. Yeah. That's huge. That's where we want to be. You know, we want to we want to promote the game. We want people to stick around and watch. That's what's going to – everybody sticking around, watching, and supporting is going to – Keep these things going on and keep these tournaments coming, keep the streams coming, 
and uh, it's all about promoting the game, especially around here in town. You know, we and I, I think that's a great thing that you guys are doing because too many other, uh, too many people don't realize that a lot of these tournaments that are put on by certain bars, you know, if they're affiliated with a certain league, a lot of them are just open to that league, and you're you're opening it up to everybody, which is. Which is huge, you know. That that's that's what we need to do. We need to have these tournaments where everybody can play. You know, we don't want to be, you know, limiting it to any certain players. Obviously, you got your big tournaments that take uh, certain qualifiers yeah. and different, you know, vendors that's and whatnot. Like, you know, but yeah, kind of like like state nine ball. It's coming up next month or coming up in October. There, right? I mean, those kind of tournaments. Yeah, you have to have this, that, or the other thing in order to play in those. Right. These nickel spot ones and. Lanny and Lanny and Kelly. I mean, they just want people to come out and have fun. I mean, they want to show that this place is the place to be on uh, on the weekends and stuff. Because, I mean, I mean, just the way everything went this weekend, and as many compliments as those guys got about how uh, great the tournament went and everything. I mean, but I just hope that it keeps going. Difference. Yeah, I mean, it's everybody I talked to said they had a great time and uh, they love to do it again. And, and and definitely voice your opinion and your support to uh, to Kelly down here at the Nickel Spot, Lanny Hayes if you know him, Scotty Beck, you know everybody. You know, let them know how well they did and that you enjoyed it. Because if they don't know that you're enjoying yourself, then they don't know. But if they know it, then they're going to be more apt to put on more events and sponsor more events, add the money to these events to bring the pool players. Yep. And I'm one of those ones. I mean, I. I'd go up, I'll ask you two or three times just because. I mean, I ask people all all day long, did you have a good time? Thanks yeah. for coming. I mean, all that stuff. And I, I know there's a few people, I, like I said, I said it to them about three or four times. <laughs> you bet. And that's what it takes, you know. You want to you wanna make sure that the players are welcome. You know, you want to thank them. Well, you, you want them to know that you care and you're happy exactly. that they're here. You know. It's all about the pool players. If it wasn't for them, uh, we wouldn't be doing this. So definitely... Uh, we want you to show your support and and on that note uh, we're gonna be going uh, four to two here pending a commentator curse <laughs> no commentator like curse there the man. I'll have to let him know. I don't know where he ran off to but we'll definitely let Kramer know he's the man all right uh, Jeremy Whelan says hi, Todd. Oh, hi. Oh. Jeremy Whelan says hi. Oh, okay. He's watching the stream right now. here with uh, Brian's break. Table's pretty open here for Jay. He can close out this uh, first set and take it to the uh, double scoop time. Oh, oh. Thanks for coming out, Todd. Yeah, we actually we have this one next one There you go. We'll we'll keep it on the down low too, so you know, we don't want to let too many people know you're gonna show up, otherwise we might have a small turnout, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Jay will be breaking the doors down to get in. I think Jay was a Especially for some money action afterward. Oh, we had some money action last night, too. 
We had a good. Anybody ever good looking time. for money action? Easy money. Find Eric Reed. <laughs> 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 he did break Reed. He, he broke even last night, though. Oh, did he? Yeah. When I left? Yeah, he ended up beating uh, Chris in nine ball. Oh, yeah. It took him to go to nine ball. Yeah, it made him go to nine ball, play nine ball, you know, yeah. so. But I tell you what, when they played that eight ball, it, it was bad. <laughs> See you later, Todd. <laughs> Yeah, I remember watching that last night. That I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't quit laughing. I mean, oh God! Just read in general just makes me laugh. Anyway, you should have stuck around. You, you oh, I was stuck so around tired. The last match, I read. We had him over here in the booth the whole last match. Oh, really? With that microphone, we were. Yeah, <laughs> it was. It was hilarious. I tell you what, you'll have to watch that. that yeah. Match sometime. It was hilarious. Yeah, I definitely need to get on there and check it out. It's Talking about who's the best in Sioux Falls, who's the best in South Dakota. We got going on who can beat who and who's the best bar box player and who's this. Was who's I in that, that conversation at all? <laughs> well, we were mostly today, talking. Though. We were mostly talking around the Bankies, the Bowmans, oh, yeah. uh, Jesse Angle's name popped up. Yeah, but the Bankies and, and them, they're Danny in Iowa Wilson. now again. Yeah, they are. Adam's no longer a South Dakota boy. You can't consider him South no. Dakota. Yeah, that's true, huh? But we would have more than welcomed Adam to come up and play for sure. Yeah, but he'd have to spot me like three games. I don't care what he says. <laughs> Especially um, after that US eight ball open uh, yeah. showing that he had there. You yeah, know. I heard about He's that. He's got some street cred now. Yeah. Now I, I would love to have Adam come back here to town to come play in one of these tournaments. It'd be a good time and a lot of fun just to, he's a very nice guy. Oh, and, and he's a great shot. A great People shooter. love to watch him shoot. Yeah. Well, any of those banky kids are yeah. Are see, just Adam's the only one that I know, and I've never got to meet any of the other kids. But, uh, no, yeah, it'd be great to have him here. I got to meet uh, him and his brothers at the Grand Falls Casino event last year when they uh, played the, the Q kids, uh, Tristan and Taylor Hansen and them young kids from Minnesota. And, uh, wow, what a match, you know. It, every one of those Banky boys can shoot some major pool, that's for sure. I, now, I these Minnesota kids, I've heard about them. Or These are really young kids that went yes. through all those singles and won that? Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah, uh, I heard they're good. Taylor won the uh, U.S., well, the eight-ball nationals down there, the leisure division. She won the leisure division. I think she's only, what, four, 15 years old, I think. And, for and these kids, I don't think they probably even waste their time playing the juniors anymore, I'm sure. Cause I'd, well, I think they've... I don't know. Probably don't know if they're allowed to. <laughs> I don't know. I think they've been there and they've uh, placed or won a couple of different. I mean, they've got trophies galore. I talked to their father, met their father out at the Grand Falls event last year, too. And, I mean, they're just, they go and they hit a lot of tournaments and they're very successful. They're going to be some major players coming up. And they're they really young, too, aren't they? Really like young. 15, 14, 12 like, or something? Taylor's like 15, and her brother Tristan's yeah, 12, I think, something like that, 13 maybe. April Larson's on that team. I think she's 15 or 16. I think I believe she's a past national uh, junior champion. Yep. Um, a couple other players on that team. Wow. Yeah, see, and I've got my 10-year-old nephew playing now, and then i got my 10-year-old stepbrother who play, and um, they'll be playing for me uh, in my junior league this year, and, which, I mean, that too, I mean, I'd love to get that built up. I oh, mean, yeah. I remember back when I played that juniors with, you know, Sam Dissey and Ashley Tran and Shandy and all those guys. I mean, we had about 50 of us running around here at the time, and, I mean, it was kind of slowly dying down, but last year I know it picked up. They actually had 20-something kids last year. Great. And I'm hoping that this year I can double that That's, because yeah. I really like to get kids out there and get them well, playing. And like I was telling Kelly earlier, we were talking about that same thing. You know, it's it's another oppor it's another area to keep kids out of trouble. Yeah, it exactly. Keeps them off the street. You know, keeps them occupied, gives them something to look forward to and, and work on. And my nephew loves playing pool so much that he's been told, if you don't, uh, if you don't act, you know, keep your act straight or whatnot, you won't be playing. And so yeah. he, if he starts acting up, I'll, I'll throw that at him all day long, and he'll quit. So we're going to be going uh, to the double dip side now. It's going to be back to 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, this will be the final match. Uh, I should have a roll right at the leg for it. What do we got going? 
We're going to split. We ain't going to play with us. Well, well, not really, because uh, you know, one's on the loser side, one's on the winner side. Now they're both even, so it's. I don't know what. Oh, now they just made it official. They are actually gonna split it. So well. Well, how do we classify first and second then? So wait now. So this means that uh, Midwest Amateur Pool gets to put on a sequel, the Best of Sioux Falls action match between you two, because we got to figure out who's the best in Sioux Falls, right? We yeah, can't have exactly. a tie. Yeah. We've got an action match. Technically, I'm going to look at it as there's two forfeits right there. I'm officially oh, the best in Sioux Falls. Two I forfeits. Mine. Scotty's number one. <laughs> <laughs> so you heard it there. They're going to split this up. We're going to we're going to end right there. It looks like uh, they're going to go ahead and split the purse and uh, call it good. Since it's not officially by them, I officially played my last match. So. I'm technically the so, best in Sioux Falls now. So you heard Scotty. He actually <laughs> officially finished the tournament. The only one to finish. The last one to finish. So, <laughs> but I'm looking now. Uh, this this puts bar this puts bullets in my barrel. Now I've I've got something to go back to Jay and uh, I know Brian's all all he loves playing those action matches. Uh, oh yeah. He's been waiting for me to get I him think another Jay will one. Do it. I'm sure Jay will do it too. Yeah. Maybe Let's we can get some money on this too. You know. So. Oh yeah. And I know I'm. Might be possibly be coming to you to do one here in the future too, so we'll talk I'd about be it. More than I got happy. a couple of people wanting to play me, and I know Colt wants to play you in a map match. He mentioned yeah. something uh, a while back to try to figure something oh, out. Oh, Colt did one of those. Yeah, he mentioned <laughs> something to me. He's like, I think you should uh, set I, something up with me and Scotty. I'm. Uh, he, he tell him he gives me the time and the place. I'm ready for it. All right, you heard it right here. Well. Obviously, uh, so keep a lookout on the map, Facebook page, uh, Nickel Spot page, uh, whatnot. I will be uh, letting you know because I definitely want to get these two then now into an action match so we can actually determine. I'm actually, well, and actually, I let Colt pick the time, but I'll pick the place. There you go. So, because we both have spots that we both hang out at, and I I think that the coolest thing to actually do with that, if Cole, wa if Cole wants to, because it's a new mutual spot for him and I, I, we haven't been to the Phoenix in a while. Why not bring it out there and do hey, it there? Hey, you know what? I've actually talked to Turk about doing something out there. I think yeah. we could wheel a pool table into that back room. Oh, yeah. And it'd be a perfect little private, secluded action match setting. There's enough room in there. We could get some seating in there. Mm -hmm. You could fit probably 10 to 20 people in there comfortably with that pool table, maybe. Well, even even doing it right there on that at that center table or something wouldn't even be bad. Yeah, but, but depending yeah, on how busy they get, it's kind of a small place, and obviously, I'd want to like I'd want to be streaming that dang thing for sure. Oh, definitely. For sure. Yeah. Action so. like that, I don't want to be missing out there. No, no, not at all. I, I, I promise you, if we, if we do it, which I'm sure we will, but when Colt's ready for it, he just has to let you and I know, and we'll get the stream going, and we'll figure out who's number one. We'll who's get the it done gun. for sure, <laughs> for sure. So, All right, well, I'm going to take off now. So. Hey, thanks for right. coming over and joining me in the booth. Right. That's Scotty yeah, back. thank you for everything this weekend. Hey, good great. shooting this weekend. Thank Third you. place, that's awesome. Thank you. And the only one to finish their match. Yeah, so technically so I got number one. I'm the best in Sioux Falls. Technically, until we get that action <laughs> match set up and squared away, yeah. Scotty's taking the uh, number one reins, and he's walking away with it. So Thanks, kid. Thank you, Scotty. Great event. Well, that does it for another production of Midwest Amateur Pool. I want to thank you for coming out. Uh, thank you for joining out in the streamland. Uh, I'll probably go ahead and leave the stream going for a little while while I uh, pack up the audio gear and stuff. Uh, I don't know if anybody's going to be playing around on the table or not, but uh, we'll leave it up here in case you guys want to watch a little bit of bonus coverage here. And uh, I want to thank you again. I want to say big thanks to the Nickel Spot and uh, Kelly again. Uh, thank you for having us out here. Thank you for putting on a class act here. This is uh, a number one tournament. We did a great job. All the players that came out, we want to thank you again. If uh, you're out there watching, thanks for coming out. Thanks for your support. Again, without your support, we couldn't make it happen. So uh, keep an eye out in the future. Uh, like I said, uh, possibly maybe doing something on this silent or this uh, Scotch doubles tournament as well. I'm not sure. Got to look at the calendar. That's coming up uh, real soon, next six days from now. Uh, September 28th, Coon Rapids, uh, MPA Tour Stop Number One. 
We'll be up there streaming that live for the MPA tour, so you can uh, check us out then as well. We'll be hitting up as many of those MPA events as we can possibly get up for. And, uh, and obviously some more local events. So just visit our Facebook page, MAP Midwest Amateur Pool. Go ahead and like it. Uh, you'll get notification if you're on the Ustream channel now. Make sure you click the follow button or the subscribe button so you get live updates whenever we go live. You can also go ahead and visit our YouTube channel where all of our matches will be uploaded back to the YouTube channel for your uh, viewing pleasure at any time. And that uh, is www.youtube.com backslash Midwest Amateur Pool. Uh, you can also view the pool players' uh, pool tracks statistical analysis on uh, www.pool-tracks.net. Click on the Players tab and search for your play favorite players from your favorite pros all the way to your favorite local players. Uh, there's quite a few players on there from the local venues here that have pool tracks uh, numbers. So go ahead and visit that, show your support. And again, want to thank everybody for coming out. I'm signing off here now. Good night. Thanks, Jay. Appreciate it. Great tournament. It's been a long three days. I think I've had 10 hours of sleep in three days. Silly.